question is, why do we still have guys proposing to girls at basketball games? That's one of the biggest problems. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. I thought he was pulling out a ring. He pulls out one of those candy rings that be inside the store. Oh, I see it. You guys see that right there? The candy ring. That's what caused him to get smacked like that. This dude is crazy. I was about to do a video like, why do we still have guys proposing to women? But... Being that he pulled out this ring, now that takes a lot of guts. Nigga, what? Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. But do me a favor right now and hit that notifications button and share this video right now. All right, guys, I got about five videos for you today. The first video is going to be a woman explaining why when it comes to a man looks really don't even matter when he, if he wants to go to another woman he's going to another woman and i will be giving commentary on that the next video is going to be a girl who is married bragging about why she do not post pictures of her by herself on instagram and it's going to make a lot of sense out there for all you women out there claiming you're good women i think after you hear this she makes the most logical sense that I have ever heard in my life. The next video is going to be Andrew Tate's brother Tristan is going to be breaking down how delusional women stay delusional because they have a one size fit all for all men. But we can say the same for men as well. And then the video after that is going to be a woman in the Dominican Republic showing you what she's doing with her money. Nigga, what? Even gonna lie, it'd be irritating the hell out of me when I see. He cheated on Nia Long. Yes, Nia Long, Beyonce, J-Lo. It never mattered. How you looked never mattered. When it's all said and done, women want the guy who can get women. It's just that they're expecting him to be faithful. At the end of the day, if he was the faithful type, then she'll run all over him. That's the confusion whenever it comes to women. You're attracted to the guy that you know can cheat, but you're going to get mad if he do so. No, it doesn't work like that. Nine times out of 10, the girl that's going to get mad if her man steps out a little bit is the girl who really didn't like the man and then the man sat around and became a simp and then he won her over. When he wins her over, he just he just relinquishes all his power. She becomes a narcissist and feel like she can control him. So when he runs off to another woman, that's actually a sign of disrespect. But to the average woman out there who has a man of value and he's taking care of the household, she normally don't mind if he steps up. But let me tell you what does. It, it does matter how you look to a certain extent to a man that's not ready for marriage, but is ready to have you in his collection. What if you just say, if, if I hit her once, she a part of my collection? She has to realize she is talking about future. Like future, a man in corporate, a man that owns his own construction business or any other business out there, they're going to think totally different. Future is entertainment. But yes, you do have guys that are playing the collection role but not mature men, just little boys with money. Cause that's what it is. These men see women like Nia Long and say, yeah, I gotta get you pregnant. Yeah, I gotta marry you. I gotta sit your ass down somewhere because what I don't want is other men touching you. But me, I'm community property. So let's stop with the, what? She's so pretty. Yes, yeah, she's pretty. She's beautiful, but none of that ever mattered. Well, what you have to understand is about Nia Long is that Nia Long is up in age. She's been around for a while. And a lot of these women, the older they become, the more masculine they are. And a lot of husbands that are married have to deal with a lot of yap from his wife. So he don't mind moving on. That's just realistic. The older you get, the more likely the man is going to cheat the older the woman is because younger women bring in more youthfulness. That's just human nature. That's how it's going to be. And in Nia Long's situation with her husband stepping out, that just seemed like something business and convenient because both of them are always on the road. You have a lot of these situations that exist in real life. But when it comes to a man, a man's never, ever, ever going to stop, going to stop liking women. Nine times out of 10, the guy that's not going to step out is going to be the guy that gets stepped on. Simple as that. 
Next video is going to be a woman breaking down why she never posts single videos of herself on Instagram. And I think a lot of you women need to watch this. Lord, it's a day. I asked an interesting question the other day. I was asked, why is it that you don't ever post selfies of just yourself on Facebook? It's always of you and your kid, of all three of you together, or you and your husband. Why don't you ever just post one by yourself? My answer was plain and simple. Okay. That if I posted a selfie of just me, all it would take is for one man to comment on it or to send me a message that said, hey, you look pretty today. Okay. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt that a family that is built on strong Christian principles and has a strong relationship with the Lord is the devil's greatest threat. Amen. She's right. I'm not a big religious person, but they do say an idle mind is the devil's playground. So the more your mind starts to wonder, the more drama you're going to bring into your life, which is why you have to be careful what you look at, what you see and what you feel. It becomes part of your neurological system, which will cause you to make other decisions in your life. Amen. So as soon as that one comment or that one message is sent, there's the devil's foothold. Mind you, my husband works 14 days at a time out of town. So if I go looking for attention in the wrong places mm -hmm. and then I start receiving it, it's going to mm -hmm. feel pretty good because sin feels good. Yep. Temptation looks awesome. But at the end of the day, I have everything I need right here at home. If I need attention or if I need somebody to tell me I look pretty, I'm going to send that selfie to my husband. Woo. So you. married Christian women, seek that attention from your husband, not... She's absolutely right. I have a girl and that's what my girl does. But you got to realize my woman's Muslim as well. She's covered up all day long. So when she needs attention, she's going to send me a photo of herself so I can tell her that she's pretty. She doesn't have Instagram. She doesn't have Facebook. So I have to give my woman the attention. So I can relate to exactly what she's talking about. And a lot of women need to understand that, too, is that you and your man need to be best friends, period. You can't be in a relationship with a man and then you have best friends that are on the outside. It's the same thing with a man. You can have guys that you're associated with, but if you want some true loyalty in your relationship, you and your woman have to be a bond that can't be broken. You have to be able to finish each other's sentences. You and her have to see the same view of life and want the same outcome. What we have is we have too many people that have too many standards. And when you sit down and talk to somebody that you're interested in, you, 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 you blow the whole situation by overthinking it. When it comes to relationship, it's simple. She either like you or she don't. She either holding you down or she's slowing you down. Next video is going to be Tristan Tate breaking down delusion of women. Let's get to it. Checkmark millionaire is women have developed unrealistic expectations because they believe that all these high value men are all into them. What they don't understand is the high value men are messaging every single girl with a chicken and a nice ass. <laughs> so so they, they think I don't need to date this guy because you know, Stupid. this blue check mark millionaire is in my inbox, but that blue check mark millionaire isn't gonna marry you and isn't gonna protect, isn't gonna provide for you and actually care for you 99% of the time. So women's expectations are, have gone out of control. Men have been priced out of the sexual marketplace. He's absolutely right. When you're searching for the guy that has everything, he knows that you're searching for him. The only thing that he's doing, he's sitting back and he's taking his pick of the litter. What you have to understand is the guy who seeks success doesn't necessarily seek the family. It's always the regular guy who wants the family. The rich guy doesn't have any connections with his kids, but the poor guy is the best dad in the world. That's, that's how life is going to balance out. If you want to be successful, you're going to put a lot of hours into working, but you're going to need a woman who is okay with you roaming that she wants the kids more than you. So you could go home, you can have the kids, you can give her the money and have her take care of the household while you go out and make the money. That's how it is when you get in a high value lifestyle. Oh, you have to have a smart woman that understands that. What you have is so many basic women that want the lifestyle of the high value, but they want the guy to act just like a basic dude. It don't work like that. A high value man is not going to spend his life trying to prove to you that he wants you and that he needs you. When he starts making a certain amount of money, even in a marriage, a high value man would be like, all right, let's get a divorce. I don't care. Look at Donald Trump. He's been married five times and all his marriages were good. It's just that when it came that time, he said, hey, let's get a divorce. Let's move on. And he, he still took care of all his wives after he got a divorce. So you have to understand that it can come parts of the relationship where that man is just not going to want you anymore. But he's not going to want you faster whenever he knows that you want him for the money. All right. Next video is going to be a girl in the DR is going to be showing you. We're going to just let this run. But this is the video that I wanted to show you guys. This is a worker in the DR 
And what these women do, they take their money home to their man. And they buy their man nice gifts like this. Why? Because in the DR, their man can protect them. See, when you guys talk about going to the DR and going overseas, everybody is prepared for you to come there. You just think it's easy pickings going there? No, they making it look like it's easy pickings to entice you to come. But when you come and you have your fun, that's just a job to them. They don't take none of that personal. You get the ego, you get the feel good, but they take their money and they do this. I've seen it. The girls in Miami do this all day long. They'll go to the club. They'll go hang out on the yachts. They'll go hang out on the boats. They'll do what they got to do. They'll perform in bed. And then they'll take that money home and give it right to their man. And they man to be okay with that. And he'll have four or five girls that's doing the same thing. This is what you lames don't see. Because a lot of you have a trick mindset. I ain't got nothing wrong with you dudes grabbing your passport to go try to get you a foreign woman. But if you just trying to go get some tail, you can go downtown in your city. I actually have a foreign woman from a foreign country. You have to make the adjustment. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.